Hello everyone, I'm just coming to show you how to do paper piecing in silhouette. Before I bought my silhouette, I used, I had a Cricut, Cut and at the, when I first got Cricut, Cut, they didn't have a print cut so everything was paper piecing. And for those who might not want to do uh, a print and cut, because sometimes the paper piecing is when you buy the car stock, the car stock is like a little bolder than when you, you know, print with your, your ink, but it's more time consuming. Uh, I would do this for like family members or something like that. Or if, if you have something really, really good that you want to paper piece, then you could do it that way. But I'm just coming to show you how I did it. So you have to do a Google search if you're going to do it in silhouette because Cricut, they have the cartridges where the images are ready set for piecing together. You know, they have like mini Mouse. This was already be in two uh, pieces uh, like this where you just use color cardstock to uh, cut it out and then piece it all together. But um, I think if you go to um, your silhouette store, they may have some stuff that you piece together that's already have out outlined, but when you want to do like license characters and stuff like that, you and you want to do paper piecing, you have to do it this way. You have to do a Google search and go find something that you can uh, use it up in silhouette. So I came across Minnie Mouse face because I do photo booth and a lot of people uh, order the faces and stuff that they put on the photo booth. So what you do is you after you pull it in you take the white back around out you want to go to your trace window again and you just want to get the outline of the um, silhouette. So you click on select trace area, trace over your image and you want to scale instead of doing the threshold you want to scale it and I leave my half pass filter on as well so I just go straight down to the scale only because right here is a break and it won't let me uh, take that bow off separately from this part right here because it, you don't see it but it's another black part sitting on top of this one and once I finish it I'll show you what I'm talking about so I would just scale it over, just keep watching until that piece is closed in. You see it closed in now. Now I can just go up to trace, move my image, and I try to keep my image close so I'll know what it looks like while I'm, uh, I'm piecing everything together. So this is what the outline looked like. Now I want to get all my pieces so I drag my mouse over and create a box around it. Go up to object, release compound path. Now. Remember that black part I told you that was on top of it that I don't need that was connected to this bow? Now I can get rid of it. I don't need that because actually this part right here, the whole thing is a black black silhouette of his head. So the blackness would already be here. And I don't need this. This is another black part. Get rid of that. And I'm looking at many and I know I don't need that because that's another black part. I don't need this little dot here. Uh, I don't need the little white dots in the eyes. I don't need this little white dot there. And it's just certain things you just figure out you might not might not need. Uh, I don't need this and I don't need that. I don't need... Yeah, I need that part right there so we got to keep that part. Okay, so I want to get, let's just make the outline black so we know what we're working with. So I'm just making it the outline black. So I get put that to the side. Now I want to make the bow, let me get rid of that, I don't need that either. I want to make the bow red. So I hold my shift key and anything that I click on is going to put a box around it. So all the stuff that I'm clicking on I want it to be red go up to red color it in everything that I wanted I had is red now and something else I forgot to take away that I don't need is this I don't need that okay now her tongue I will change it to pink and I'm only doing this because I want you to see exactly what I'm looking at because obviously you would be using just the color. I would be using pink cardstock to cut this out, red cardstock to cut the bow out, and black cardstock to cut out the silhouette. And the face I would use like a cream or a 
flesh tone type of cardstock to cut the face out. So I'm going to do the face uh, just to give you your understanding what I'm trying to do. Okay, now I'm getting ready to shift and do my eyes white and get those out the way. Now, if you notice that I need to open up the nose and the mouth so I don't have to do it separately because actually it's just black. So if I open it up, it'll just bring in the black from the back. So let's move the silhouette out the way, group all this together, go up to object and make compound path. Now it released that so when I put the silhouette behind it, it has that black. And now you can piece everything together after you cut it all out. And see how easy that was. And the good thing about it, you can also stretch it to make it bigger, move her out the way, but make sure when you stretch it to make it bigger, you want to group every last one of them together because you want to make sure they still fit. You can't stretch a uh, mini mouse silhouette and think that the bow is still going to fit because it's stretched. So you want to make sure you group it all together and always pull from the corners, never from the centers or in the middle, never. Always pull from the corner and just keep stretching until you get it to the size you want. And that would be a perfect size for me to do for a photo booth. So what I would do is I would take all this stuff off, put my car stock, black car stock on the mat, cut out the background first, then I'll take that off, put on my red car stock, and cut out the bow, white eyes, face, the blush color car stock, and the uh, pink for the uh, tongue car stock. And then just either use glue or double-sided tape, as for me, I have a machine that has a cranky machine that has uh, adhesive where you just lay it on the little uh, little bed of it and just crank it and it put adhesive on the back side of it. So uh, that's how I make my paper piecing when I do my photo booth or if I'm doing Sesame Street characters. I love them when I'm doing Sesame Street characters because they, they pop more with just the cardstock instead of uh, the print and cut. So. Uh, this is my video for you and I'm sharing today and I hope you like it. If you have any questions, just let me know.